All right, welcome back to the shop. So I brought over these little posts that are going to be formed into the styles of the gate to make the tenants to them. First things we have to do is do the layout. So because we are working with round pieces of wood, all the references are going to be need to be taken from a center line. So what we need to do is select all the pieces we're going to use, choose an orientation top to bottom and choose an orientation in what plane um, they will be oriented so the curvature is more or less um, similar or flat or whatever you want it to be and then we'll use a snap line and incline to draw the line on there So this is the first lock, um, as you can see it has a strong curve in this direction, so we're going to use it on its side, um, then it's pretty straight as opposed to being fully curved. So I'm going to put it top side of the tree downward so that um, knots like this one, they are also facing downward and they won't collect water so that gives me the thicker section to make the joints and the thinner, the thinner section at the bottom so let's get the ink line or the chalk line out I have a, a Japanese ink line just because I don't know I want it to be different I guess and snap this then do the second and then I can go to the end okay Mark the start, maybe the end. But anyway, from this we can uh, draw parallels. So we'll go equal distance to the left and to the right uh, on the end grain and on the side grain um, to mark out the tenon. So I'm going two centimeters in either direction. Square them off. So I'm just gonna choose uh, 15 centimeters to mark from the end. So I side down the plumb line and project it onto the surface by drawing a line directly behind it so I can't see it. That gives me this, which it, it looks weird, but it should be... Hmm, still not okay, I think. So I think I forgot uh, an important step which is to use the marked snap line to level it out using a spirit level or whatever else you can use uh, because otherwise I think it's not correct the marking out that you do um, even though I, I did put it plumb so normally it should have been okay 
but I'm going to try and level it out with the spiritual level. Okay, so now the snap line is level. So because the plane that the snap line indicates is now level, every plumb line should be squared to it. So we can now check um, at the 15 centimeter mark, so right there in the corner. Um, if what we just marked out before by just using the plumb line is indeed square. Definitely looks sketchy. So to make these projections, obviously it, the projection changes from where you look at it. So, if you look at it from here or from here, the projection will be somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I don't really know how to deal with that. So what I'm trying to do here is um, what in French is called picage, which is a layout technique that uses um, level lines and plumb lines to mark out the joinery on irregular um, wooden beams. So the issue I have now is that I'm trying to um, make a square line at a certain point um, on my first snap line, but because I'm projecting a plumb line, um, it varies uh, depending on where I look at it from. So I can project it on sideways or more or less square, but there's still a, a variant that I cannot um, solve. So I think what I need to do first might be to draw a second snap line that is square to the first one. So we drew the first one that's now on the side here, which enabled us to draw the cross section of the tenon on the end grain and now I can use this to find the center and draw a square line up to the side of the of the log and then use this point to snap it to the other side but as you can see because we're working with curved timber if I would project or make, take the middle and make a square line up to the edge of the log. Um, it's possible that it would go either this way or not really where we want it to be. So we want this line to go to the middle of the other end grain section actually. Um, so it's possible that most of the log is laying outside of this line that's fine so let's try and do that and see if it helps us so before I leveled the snap line on the side but obviously um, the line can still be not level in the other axis which is definitely the case which is again a mistake um, I think I should first level one and then do the other right after so I can see here it's definitely not level and it needs to be more something like this. So now it's important that this doesn't move anymore. So now I mark the center, the center of the tenon which is here. And draw a square 
line. So now we have two marks on the side, on the top, and we can snap a line between them. As you can see, this line doesn't go through the center of the log at all. The log is actually mostly outside of the line. Okay, so now that's done. I don't see how it actually helps us. All right, so I'll, I'll check the last time to make a projection and just roll with it. And then we'll see what happens. There we go, that's a line. All right, so I did the projection with the plumb bob and it still, it still felt a little off. Um, it looked like I was creating like a V because the projection didn't came from exactly the same uh, plane. But then I checked by putting my square on the line and keeping it level or more or less level and then projecting along this line as well downwards and it, it gave almost the same line so I guess I'm a little bit more confident now that this line is alright so I'm gonna go with that so this is where they met. It doesn't really look great, or I don't know, maybe it does. Um, so I'm gonna connect the dots now and use this as my as my square line. So here we have the post and the dark line marked all the way around. So now we can mark out the rest of the thickness of the tenon and saw it out. It's been a while since I've done this so I'm, I have to figure it out again. But it's nice to, to learn and to try. So let's keep going, snap the top line and then mark out the first tenon. And then repeat it four times, I'm not going to show the four other ones. Um, so we'll just meet back on the next part or when they're all finished. All right. This is also a projection, but on a much smaller curve, so it's not as hard.
So the first one of the five styles of the gate is done. I used the French scribing technique to mark out a square tenon on a curved timber. Um, it's a technique that I've been taught once before um, in the workshop where we built the Wattle and Daub timber framed cabin. Um, you can see a video of this project also on my YouTube channel. Um, so this is the first time that I actually need this technique in a project of my own. So I was a bit rusty and there was a lot of figuring out to do. Um, but in the end I kind of got there. So after sharing some of my process pictures on Instagram I got some tips from a French guy on Instagram called Artre Charpent and he explained to avoid the main issue that I had which was um, making the projection of the square line to the snap lines. Uh, depending on where you look at it, the projection will be projected somewhere else, so it won't be correct. Um, and to eliminate this, um, you're supposed to align your snap lines with a perfectly square cross on the floor. Um, so you can use this as a sec second reference point to, point to align your eye. Um, so you know that you're looking from the correct position to make the projection. To recap the technique as I understand it now is you have your crooked timber and you choose an orientation that you want to use it in. So maybe you choose the flattest side that you're going to use to build on. Um, then what you need to do is make a first snap line then turn it to the side and level it. Um, when it's level you can um, use a spirit level to make the line also on the end grain. And next you can make a square line to this level line on the end grain to draw a line towards the top and the bottom. Um, after which you can make your second snap line. So now you will have a cross on either end of the end grain and two snap lines. So what this guy on Instagram told me is that you need to align the snap line um, on your timber, the one on the, on the top. Um, with a straight line that is on your workshop floor um, and then when you mark out where your tenon shoulder is going to be you have to uh, drop your plumb line um, to the floor and make a square um, a line to the straight line on the floor at the height of your tenon shoulder so then you have a second reference point which I didn't have before, which gave me my problems um, when projecting the square line to it. So once you've done that, you can use these reference lines on the floor to align your eye and your pencil with the plumb line. So another difference is that you look from the top instead of from the side. So what you need is a pencil with a big flat side um, that you can hold against the plumb line. So you drop the plumb line down and align it with the shoulder line on the floor. And when this is correct and your piece is still level, uh, all you need to do is put the flat of your pencil against the plumb line and scribe it off on the curvature of the of the wood. So then you should have a pretty good um, projection and this eliminates um, the error of looking from the wrong, the wrong angle, angle projecting your line somewhere where it doesn't need to be. Anyway, I'm gonna do the four other pieces. Um, I'm not gonna film the process just to make some progress. Um, but if you want to see a more in-depth video on this French scribing technique, as I understand it, uh, let me know in the comments and maybe I will make a dedicated video about it.